Hello, I am the Happy Jow, and oh, welcome Jamie. to a Lego review. This is quite an unusual Lego review to kick off the year, since it is on a theme that some of you might have never even heard of before. It is Lego Education, and it is titled Community Workers, which is effectively just uh, a box full of 31 minifigures oh, for populating a Lego city, which, funnily enough, is exactly why I got this. I got it off eBay for £38, uh, which is a bargain because originally it cost uh, in shops £37 and it cost $50 in the US. And uh, that means you are effectively paying £1.50 a minifigure, which is a great deal uh, considering for the collectible minifigure series you have to pay £2.50 here. I'm not sure what it is in America, probably f 4 bucks or something. Uh, and as well as the minifigures, you also get a bunch of accessories, as you can probably see. You get four three-wheelers, three bikes, and uh, a stretcher, and as well as two dogs, and a lot of other fun stuff. So since this is just minifigures, this set, effectively, I'll just go through them one by one, unless it's a set of identical minifigures, which there are some of, in which case I'll just show you the one. Okay, the first figure I'm going to start off with is the Diver Lady. I'm not sure on the names of these characters, so I'm just going to identify them by the accessories they have. Uh, the reason I'm reviewing her first is because she keeps falling over all the time. But she's got the uh, Lego Diver uh, flippers and uh, uh, oxygen tank on her back, but no mask or anything. So uh, I'm not sure she's going to do too well in the diving front. Next we have one of my favourites, which is, uh, who looks to be a janitor of some kind. I just, I don't know what it is, something about the simplicity and that really nice torso. It, I think it might be the one used on Luke in Cloud City, um, but I'm not sure, in Star Wars, obviously. Yeah, but he comes with a broom. M the majority of the figures do come with accessories, so you'll see that. Then, you just get two dogs. These are the older design because uh, this set came out in 2007 and uh, was discontinued in 2010. So a lot of these figures do use slightly older two torsos. They did renew this set recently, um, but uh, it didn't come with the smiley faces and I really like the smiley faces. So uh, here's a pair of people. You get the chef, he comes with an ice cream, I've never had a Lego ice cream before. And then you get the um, waiter who has the pizza. There's um, uh, some of my other favourites as well. Here's another one. Uh, she looks like a business lady, she's well dressed. I really like that torso. T torso? Torso. Uh, I remember seeing it in one of the modular buildings a long time ago. I can't remember which one it is. I think it might be Market Street. But I really like that torso. It's really nice. Then we have one of the uh, Octan oil people. Mechanics, whatever you want to call them. The other one comes with the three-wheeler. gets the red helmet. This is what the three-wheeler looks like, if you're wondering. Quite an interesting piece. It has the studs up there. I believe they don't use this anymore. They used to back in the day. And if I take his hands off, this bit does actually steer, which is interesting. It's a separate piece attached at that point there. But yeah, you get four of these and we'll get to the others a bit later on. We have uh, what looks to be just a photographer. He's using one of the newer torsos in this set, and he has a camera. Pretty basic. Is a, a train conductor maybe, but usually the people that work there have the symbol on it. So I think he might just be a businessman of some kind. Uh, the hat kind of throws me off a bit, so I'm not 100% sure who he actually is. But he comes with that nice suit jacket. For some reason he didn't come with the grey uh, legs, which would have completed the suit look. But as it is, he's a pretty sharp looking minifigure. Next, we have this guy. 
There's another guy in a suit with the short haircut. It looks like a hitman. Hitman with a face like that. Makes sense. Here's someone to go with the diving lady. Another person who seems to be on holiday. Skateboarder guy. Comes with a nice parasailing uh, vest also. He's wearing speedos by the looks of it, which is a little bit disturbing. We have a criminal here. He looks like a professional criminal because he's got the axe in a suitcase. This guy means business. Let's hope he's more effective than other criminals in Lego City. Here's one of the two uh, miners, I'm gonna say, or just worker men, some kind. He has a pickaxe and the uh, the spenders or things. I can't remember what that item of clothing is called now. That's gonna bug me for the rest of the video. And that worker also has a friend with a three-wheeler. It's the same one we just saw, all of them are identical except for colour in some cases. And there's a trash can on the back and he's got the helmet as well. Here we have two people that work at the airport. We have what looks to be the captain and uh, someone else who works on the plane. They look nice. Then we get a set of construction workers. Or uh, maybe because of that symbol they work with the transport somehow. Maybe they work on the railway lines or something. But you actually get four of these guys, all with different accessories. This guy comes with a trolley. This one with a shovel. This one with a shovel as well. So I guess they don't all come with different accessories. But here we go. And just in case you wanted a comparison for some reason, is Emmett stand next to him. I don't have the uh, collectible Emmett with the uh, construction helmet. You get the general idea. Then you get three, um, you get a doctor and two paramedics. They come with the stretcher. Here's the two paramedics. They just have the different hair pieces. And then here's the Doctor, who comes with a torso I've never seen before. I seriously doubt this is an exclusive torso to this set, but I've never seen it before, it looks cool. This is actually a different torso than pictured in the photos on the back, but you can see there, that's a different torso to what is pictured here. That one's got much less detail on it. So maybe this is just a newer uh, release of the set that, and they threw in it. A slightly more detailed torso with it. Four police officers. Here's one of them. He's the captain because he has uh, that hat, I believe. This guy uh, comes with just a with a cap and some binoculars, which I just dropped. I cannot keep hold of these. Perhaps he uh, works with the helicopter pilot or something like that. They all have the modern uh, Lego City uh, police officer. Well, it was it was modern until recently. I think in the last couple of years they have been using a new police torso. But this is the one that was around for quite a while. And you also get two more police officers, both of them on the three wheelers. There's one guy, they come with a crash helmet with the black visor on it. I always liked that black visor. That's really cool, especially on the white helmet. It looks like the Stig, if anyone knows who that is. Probably no one outside of the UK. And last but not least is our set of firemen. Here's one of the generic ones. We get three with a white helmet and then one with a silver helmet who acts as the chief. They all get different accessories. This guy has an axe, this guy has a fire extinguisher and a phone. And the chief just gets the phone. See, so he doesn't do any of the work. He isn't going to put his life at risk. That's what all the pawns are for. And, oops. That's all the figures. Now just for accessories. Along with the paramedics, you get a stretcher. And this one's unique in the way that it actually has wheels on the bottom. So usually you get a stretcher and it just has that bit. 
uh, recently in Lego, that's all they've been giving you. But now you get little wheels which can fold in and out. So that's nice, I've never had that before. You also get three bikes. They're all just red bikes, all of them are identical. You can have anyone ride these, it's not specific. And then, last but definitely least, is you just get, get some generic cones, traffic cones. There's two yellow ones, and then there's one for the police to use, which is white. Something I forgot to mention in that segment was you do get uh, a wheel full of repair tools and that sort of thing. I just didn't feel like opening it because I've got plenty of those already. Hey, uh, here's a competition. I'll send this in the post if you like this video. Ooh. Sorry about that. Anyway, in conclusion, this is a fantastic set if you want to uh, populate your Lego city like me. Even though they all do come with the smiley faces, I don't mind that. I want everyone in my city to have the smiley face, dang it. Um, but even if it isn't, you can just swap out the faces and you get some awesome accessories like the three wheelers and the pizza and everything. You get some really cool tortoise and you get just about every person you need um, as far as jobs go. I mean, this is called the community workers for a reason. All of these people um, will fulfill the roles you need them to in your city. Uh, and the value for money is just fantastic. Uh, even it if you can't get it at uh, the original price of £37, I got it for just 38 on eBay. Uh, I saw it go for even cheaper than that for just £21 at one point. So if you want this, just have a look on eBay. It's not that expensive. It's great value for money. You're paying £1.50, under £1.50 per minifigure, more like £1.19, something like that. Uh, whereas these days, as I said at the start of the video, you're paying £2.50. Uh, for a collectible minifigure. So this is definitely great value and get it if you can. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry if this wasn't the most engaging review ever. Uh, it's not the most exciting style for the year. But you know, I haven't seen a proper new review of this set uh, on YouTube. So I thought it'd be fun to do it. And it was. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Thanks again for watching and Happy New Year!